Hey guys, today we're back out in the barn. I didn't get around to doing anything yesterday. Uh, I went and had a cookout with family, so we will continue today. This is a Printec um, line printer, dot matrix, Forms Pro 4503. I have three of these. Two of them are Printec and one of them is a different brand. So we will plug her in here. I don't know if it'll work with the door open or not, but power switches here on the side it says form 3 front it's kind of hard to read that online power no fault Offline, hold for setup. You can do margins, all kinds of stuff. Now it's resetting. online. Yay. Well, it works. Uh oh, now it has a fault. It's run out of paper. There was only just the one piece in there. But it seems to work. It won't go online because there's no paper. But it does seem to work. So that's kind of cool. Of course, I have no idea what I'd ever use it for. But if I ever get all my old antique computers running, maybe they can print something. All right, guys, I've got the tape drive down. I actually took this down yesterday, which would be Monday, and was unsuccessful at getting it to operate. Um, it was kind of working erratically. So I thought, well, maybe this is the one that was the parts one. So I dragged that one down, and that one worked erratically. Wouldn't load the tape. So what I ended up doing was I uh, swapped the motherboard from the parts unit, which is that one, and put that one in here, and now it seems to work. So I'm not positive if I didn't swap them before when I was trying to get the other one over there to work, um, and maybe I just never put them back. So, let's fire it up. There's a power switch in the back, which takes it the power on, obviously. And then this is the standby switch. Oh, this is a Hewlett Packard 7980XC, half inch drive, nine track tape um, machine. It's, uh, I believe it's SCSI. It might be HPIB, but I think it's SCSI. I'm not positive. So, let's bring it online. Okay, it's performing a self test and it's going to fail. And the reason it's going to fail is there's uh, the uh, CPU battery, the memory battery is no good. So we'll press reset. Okay, now it's going to try to load a reel. What it's doing now is it's pulling the sensors to see if there's a reel in there. And of course, it's not going to find one. So it shuffles back and forth to see if the reel is seated on there correctly. And it'll do that a couple times, and then it'll shut down and go into standby mode, into ready mode. Still says loading. See there, now it says ready, because there's no reel in there. So we press the unload button. It'll open the door. Take the tape. Label side up, close the door, it's going to do the same process, XC, and then it's going to say loading. It'll spin anti-clockwise, check to see if there's a reel in there, then it will lock the reel in.
Okay. Let's lock the reel in. Now it's going to go backwards and find the tail. There's a pair of sensors in here that's going to see where the tail is. Now let's take the, turn on the take-up reel. The vacuum motor is already running. Now it's going to very slowly feed the tail out around the tension, around this sensor here, the head. And it's going to pick it up there. There you go. Shuts the vacuum motor off, sets the tension, goes into closed loop mode. Now it's finding the beginning of the tape. And once it senses the beginning of the tape, it's ready to go. Beginning of tape. The tape is right enabled. And it's 6250. The right enable is uh, on the bottom of the reel. Is this little thing here. If you take this out, then that protects it so that it can't be written to. So. All right, so I've got the testing um, information here. So what we're gonna do is uh, press option, press enter, because we wanna do tests. Now this is test zero. This is the power on self test. So let's do that once. And it should give us an error. And I'll write down the error and that'll tell me um, why it fails the power on self test. Fail zero. Okay, so we press enter. Error 5D. Error 5D. FRU 21. Okay, now we'll do test one once, which is the um, general test. I'm thinking it's almost the same as the power on self test, but I'm not sure. It looks like it's running the same series. Fail one, enter. Error 5D. Are you 21? So that's the same error. So now I want to do test 70. Oops. Test 70, which is the lights. Okay. Now 171 is supposed to write something to the buffer, I think. Okay, so it wrote something to the buffer. Now if we do 172, supposed to write that well I don't know exactly how to do it it's supposed to write something to the drive but it is at least Okay. It's doing something. Air two C.
Alright, well, anyway, <clears throat> um, now I'll do an unload, which is this button here. It'll rewind the tape. And it unlatched, it unlocked the hub and it has released the tape so I can take it out. In case you were wondering how these hubs work, basically um, this button here will trip the solenoid. So if you trip this lever and the motor goes in a clockwise motion, it brings those fingers out and then it stops. Can't turn any farther. So the controller will will trip the solenoid and turn it this way and when it stops it monitors the voltage so that it knows that it's turned it far enough. Then it releases the solenoid and then lets the motor back off so that the catch will disengage. Same thing when it unloads. It trips the same solenoid but it turns it counterclockwise. It'll catch and retract the fingers. Same thing, stall the motor. It monitors how much voltage or current is there. Releases the solenoid and then unloads the tape. It says that it's unloaded. So, I want to put a tape, I want to reload it again just because it's kind of neat. Just lock the hub. Gonna find the tail. According to the book, it has a, like a 92% success rate, which is not great. There goes the tail. Caught on the take up. Now it'll see that it's caught. Turn the vacuum off. Set the tension. Once it gets this tension set, it goes into what's called um, loop mode, where the two drives are basically uh, connected together to keep the same tension. Now it's looking for the beginning of the tape. Still says loading. There's the beginning of the tape. I don't know why it turns the vacuum on when you unload, but it does. So I hope you've enjoyed looking at this Hewlett Packard 7980XC half inch nine track tape machine. Um, and as always, thanks for watching and uh, tune in next time when I'll get out a, um, an older computer also made by uh, Hewlett Packard. It's a 9920 and maybe someday I can get this to talk to that, but uh, I don't know if they're compatible. But anyway, thanks for watching and tune in next time.